I was asked, would he come down and photograph the punk night? Suddenly, the clash come on and bang! There was this incredible cultural explosion going on. It was a scary moment because punk could have gone either way. The National Front were growing, the right-wing press playing the same old tune. Keep our country free from invasion when the invaders have got black, brown and yellow faces. We said what we need to do is do a, a gig thing called Rock Against Racism. We're against racism in all facets of British life. We want rebel music, street music, music that breaks down people's fear of one another, music that knows who the real enemy is. Love music, hate racism. The energy and the potential of it was what pulled all these people on board. At that time, there was a massive amount of police picking up black youth. I met this man, Red Saunders. He was like, we've got to get together, we've got to build something. Rock Against Racism was white people finally waking up to the fact that there's racism here. The thing to do is get involved in outside organisations with white people, with black people. The only way we can do it is together. Black, white, together, tonight and forever. We're going to march from Trafalgar Square to Vicky Park, get a stage, build it. Got to have the clash, absolutely great energy punk band. The police were ridiculing us, saying, nobody's going to come to this march. The numbers just kept coming. In this society, we're made to feel powerless and useless and that the great and the good should do our thinking for us. And one of the wonderful things that we did in Ra was to say, no, just ordinary people, we can do things, we can change the world. Yeah.